I'm Kit Hao. I'm Shen Yi. I'm Tang Jia Wen. Population aging is a global phenomenon. Many of you will need some form of care as they age. We foresee a shortage of caregivers in the future. Elderly can be lonely, therefore companionship is important for them. Besides, they are more forgetful and may miss their daily medications. My cabot will be ideal to fill the gaps and solve these problems. My cabot can be used at any home with elderly, providing some basic health care, entertaining them and performing some simple rescue tasks. Let us show you how our robot works. This is Briefing Rescue Zone. It is to deliver oxygen support. This is Medicare, which is a drug dispensary system that dispenses liquid and tablet. This is Fun Zone for entertainment with the elderly. This is Medicare for vital signs checking of the elderly. The robot will follow a corridor according to different scenario of the Medicare scanning of vital signs. A large motor helps move the thermometer towards the elderly. Ultrasonic sensor detects the forehead and adjusts the thermometer level for temperature scanning, which is then wrapped around the arm with the help of a medium motor. Once blood pressure is recorded, the cuff unwraps the arm. The pulse oximeter is turned on with the movement of a large motor. Once on, the robot instructs the elderly to put his left index finger into the oximeter for measurement. Doors will close and the robot will rotate next to Medicare for daily medications. When Medicare is activated, door 1 opens. A color sensor is used to detect the right medicine to be given. Once detected, the liquid dispensing system moves down the rack gear gathered by touch sensors to reach the medicine bottles. The syringe plunger will be pulled outwards to draw the liquid medicine into the syringe with the help of a large motor. The syringe will then turn 180 degrees clockwise by a timetable to allow the medicine to be dispensed into a medicine cup for consumption. The tablet dispensing system consists of a 9-inch storage box, which is color-coded. A color sensor will be used to detect the right medicine to be given. An automated door at the base will slide into a collecting tray. The function starts when a large motor is activated and releases the door down on a pulley system. In order to win the game, the player must move his Lego piece to the finishing line without being spotted by the ultrasonic sensor. If during vital signs checking, the elderly is detected to have low oxygen saturation, the robot will track him in the red zone and will immediately direct him to briefing rescue zone. In this zone, a face mask is delivered to the elderly by two motors. A large motor rotates the bar, and another pushes the mouse out of the rack gear towards the elderly. The face mask will be lifted down via a pulley system that is controlled by a media motor. Once the face mask is secretly fastened on the face, continuous oxygen supply will be given via an automated ambu bag. The ambu bag pumping motion is controlled by a large motor which moves the two hands in synchrony creating a compression mechanism once the elderly feels better the oxygen saturation improve the rescue mechanism will stop it will rotate back to medi check zone via bluetooth signal all the sensors and muscles work in synchrony with each other for automated seamless movement my camera can make autonomous decisions following from our research, there are many different kinds of robots that are used in our care setting. However, there is no robot today that features different functions. Built in a single robot like ours. This project is important as it's possible a real robot.